Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Acidy here again with you for another video and today I have kind of the second episode of the new series and for the lack of another name we're gonna call it get good and basically I teach you how to not suck with each and every operator in Rainbow Six Siege. I'm gonna be going over kind of the do's and don'ts with each operator and just giving you some tips on how to improve. Last time we covered Kavera and this time I wanted to cover an attacker so we're gonna go with Thermite this time. He isn't the hardest operator to use but at the same time people do kind of misuse him and I know that some people are afraid to use him because of the responsibility he holds myself included at times so I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to get good with Thermite. Before I get into the kind of do's and don'ts for Thermite I do want to mention with Habana being added into the game within the next week or two. Some of this might change up a little bit. I still think for the most part Thermite will be played the same way, but he will just have a little bit of extra help when it comes to Habana. We still don't know exactly how Habana will work, whether or not she'll be able to blow a hole big enough to climb through, or if it just kind of gives you a line of sight through the reinforcement. We will find that out either today or tomorrow for the Xbox Pro League Finals. They are going to be doing live demos for the new Season 4 Operation Red Crow going over the new map as well as the new operators. So with that said, with Operation Red Crow, Thermite will be getting a little bit of help when it comes to getting through those reinforcements. However, he still needs to have a certain playstyle. I want to start off talking about some of the don'ts with Thermite or the major no-nos, things you want to avoid. And the first thing I have is do not use the M1014. In my opinion, it just really doesn't make sense to use the shotgun, especially while attacking. And not to mention that the M1014 did get a pretty big nerf a while back, making it a lot harder to get kills. And when you're somebody like Thermite, who is a high priority target, you want to stay alive as long as possible and not being able to play longer ranges can hinder his performance. It is possible to use the shotgun, but you have to be in extremely close range and be very stealthy and know where you're going. So with that, I like to say just use the 5.56, which can play pretty much all ranges. The next big don't I have for you guys when it comes to Thermite might actually be one of the most important, but it's don't get spawn killed. As of right now, Thermite is the most important operator and even with season 4 he will still be a very high priority target so when you die with him right off the bat it makes it so much harder for your teammates to win the round. One of the biggest assets that the defensive team has is being able to put up those reinforcements and sabotaging your team by dying right off the bat can really hurt you in the long run. You just want to be very aware when you're picking Thermite you don't want to run out you're always going to want to play the start of the round as slow as possible stick with teammates if you see an enemy through a window trying to spawn kill let one of your teammates try to engage him don't get all ballsy and try to take him out and then get yourself killed. That just kind of goes into my next tip which again is just don't be too aggressive it doesn't make sense with Thermite, you have to be methodical, you kind of have to play that passive aggressive role. Now the final don't that I have for you guys is don't put his Thermite charge on a reinforced wall that you can see the bandit shock wire. It is literally the biggest waste of a Thermite charge and you only get two, you do not want to waste them so pay attention when you see those little sparks coming off the reinforced wall, don't decide to put down your Thermite charge. I know sometimes the enemy might bandit trick which you can't really prevent as thermite alone but if you have some teammates try to get them to throw some smokes, stun grenades, maybe even a grenade through a gutter or somewhere where you can try to stop bandit otherwise just find an alternative route. Now the way I'm covering thermite it's just kind of anticipating that your team is running a twitch or thatcher as well Thermite isn't quite completely useless, but he is a lot harder to use without one of those two operators. So my big do's with Thermite, again, it's just that kind of patience is key. You want to be smart and play very aware of your surroundings. Try to find out where the enemies are. Drone, you don't want to be the first guy in. Try to stay near your teammates and you will be the most effective. Again, another do is just stick with Thatcher or Twitch. It makes a lot more sense to be paired up together than just being on the opposite sides of the map. When you get up to that reinforcement, you're waiting a minute to 30 seconds for your teammate to come and use their ability to help you get through that reinforced wall. Another big do is use that killing potential. Use that 5.56 to your advantage. If you did get through some of those common reinforcements and you use both of your thermite charge, don't be afraid to be aggressive. At that point, it's okay. You did your job as thermite. 
use something like the ACOG. It's a great sight to use on the 5.56. If you're playing in more of a closer range, use holographic. It works very well. The gun is very strong and can kill very fast. Now, my last big do is the same thing as not wasting your thermite charges. Just be wise about where you're placing them. You want to be able to put them in spots that can open a line of sight for your teammates. It makes a lot of sense to put them in the seam of two reinforcements. You'll get a much bigger surface area blown up. That way you can get better line of sight. Don't waste your thermite charge on barricade doors. I understand that thermite doesn't have breaching charges. So in some scenarios when it's coming down to the wire and you don't have anybody that has a breaching charge and there's a castle barricade or something, go ahead and use that thermite charge. I understand that. But don't just waste it on something stupid. Also, when you are placing down the thermite charges, try to put a claymore somewhere near an exit that the enemy might use to flank you or just a doorway. Put it behind you in a position that might be able to take an enemy out that is trying to flank. But those are my kind of tips and do's and don'ts for thermite. Just to look at a recap, looking at the do's, be patient, stick with Thatcher or Twitch, use that killing potential and also use your charges wisely. Looking at the don'ts, we have don't get spawn killed, don't use the M1014, do not be too aggressive, and then finally, do not put your charge on a shock wire. And with all of that said, that will wrap up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. I greatly appreciate the support. I hope that it did help you learn something new and help you get a little bit better with Thermite. Feel free to comment anything you have down below, maybe an operator that you want to see in this series in the future. If you are new, do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button, and as usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.